In today's video, we're going to take a look at every single official case for the Z Flip 5. Let's start by looking at the Eco Leather case. Now, we've installed the cream version on our dummy device. We are getting the real device soon, so stay tuned for that. However, as you can see, you can also get it in black and a toop as well. Now, as soon as you put this on, it does feel really nice in the hands. On the back, you can see there's an embossed Samsung logo. Then on the side, there's sufficient room for your thumb or finger for the fingerprint reader. And there's also a volume rocker as well, which is made out of plastic and does feel fairly premium. It's also good to see that the click is nice and tactile still as well. More importantly though, the hinge is actually protected via this leather flap. This is really nice to see, especially as not all the cases that we have here today have hinge protection. Around the front, you still have sufficient room to access that new large display. There's a good bezel around the outer display, but let's be honest, you probably want to install a screen protector anyway. Overall, the case feels really nice in the hands especially considering it's not actually leather. It's good to see that there's some hinge protection here, although the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is how this cream one will fare up over time. Because in the past, leather often patinas and gets a little bit grubby. Right, let's take a look at a new case from Samsung this year. So this is the clear gadget case. Now we first saw this case on the S23 lineup at the start of the year. However, it's brand new for the flip and fold this year. Now, as the name suggests, the gadget part of it refers to this ring on the back that you can detach. There are wallets and tripods also available for this case as well. So it's almost like an ecosystem of accessories for this case. Now, this ring that comes with the case can be used as a kickstand, which is perfect for catching up with content. The hinge is nice and stiff, so it's not easily going to fall over. And of course, you can slide your finger through it and actually use it to hold the phone as well. Now, as mentioned before, you can just press the center button in to unattach this. There is this little cover in the box, but it still rocks on a table when you've got this attached as well. Now, the rest of the case is just a plastic clear case, to be honest. It doesn't feel that special and it certainly doesn't feel like an official Samsung accessory. For a start, there's no hinge protection here, so it doesn't really offer anything extra and to me, the buttons feel a little bit mushy. Overall, I don't really see the appeal of this case. You really have to justify the ecosystem of accessories for the gadget part. Because to be honest, for £39, you could easily just buy a cheaper Elixir case, which would provide exactly the same in terms of protection and functionality, and then just slap a pop socket on the back. Next, let's take a look at the silicon ring case. This is the apricot version. However, it's also available in indigo, lavender, and mint. As with all silicon cases, they're nice and bright. And as this is high quality silicon, it doesn't feel really grippy in the hands. It definitely still adds grip, but it's not going to pull your pockets inside out. As the name suggests, you obviously get a ring on the back. This is a slight difference than last year because the ring used to actually cover some of the hinge. It would also add a small amount of protection while making sure that the ring is always at the top when the phone is closed. I'm guessing they've had to make the change to this case because of the size of the new screen on the outer display. Now the ring itself is definitely metal on the inside, however it has this nice soft touch silicon on the outside. This means it's not going to scratch up the phone if it hits that outer display. Now as mentioned before, there's no protection for the hinge, however the rest of the phone is nicely covered. There's a good bezel around that outer display, although a screen protector is probably still required. Overall, I think it's a very stylish case. And I do think this ring is slightly better than the one we saw on that gadget case. This is definitely my favorite case that we've seen so far, even without that hinge protection. Although I am sad to see that there's no strap case this year, because it was definitely one of my favorites over the past few years. So this is called the flip suit case. And to be honest, it's just a hard plastic case with two, I'd say quite interesting inserts. So the front of this case is actually identical to the gadget case that we looked at earlier. So it's got this sort of black frame around it and it's just made out of a hard plastic on the edges as well. Then on the back, you just have this hard plastic material. As you can see though, there is two inserts that you can put underneath. These give them a very unique look and they're specifically designed for this case. So unfortunately, you won't be able to use them on the gadget case. Once you've put them in, they just sit underneath and don't actually provide any texture or functionality, but just provide a nice different look. Overall, I would have preferred if Samsung just made an entire case with this material. 
I think if they had two different cases that were designed all the way around with these in mind, I think it would look better. I think this, in my mind, looks a bit cheap and a bit tacky, to be quite honest. It definitely doesn't feel like a £44 case. So there we go. All the official cases for the Z Flip 5. I have to say my favourite is probably the Eco Leather case or maybe that silicon ring case. I really can't decide between the two. Comment below which case is your favorite and make sure you subscribe for more Z Flip 5 content. If you want to purchase any of these cases, check out the links in the description as well.